Zion seems better than Beyonce. And also, hot take, the Golden State Warriors aren't gonna make the playoffs this year. Yeah. And also, Amber Alert, has anybody seen Stefan Diggs? <laughs> Let's get it, baby. What's good, my Yo, brother? What's good, How, you doing? How you doing? I'm good. Happy I'm good. Monday. Happy Monday. Crazy, crazy, crazy week of NFL football. We're gonna start off with the Vikings and the Giants. Now, Kirk Cousins, guess what he did? Oh, we. He finally listened and he balled out. You know, he, had, he was 22 or 27 for 300 yards and two touchdowns. Both of them to the guy who criticized them subliminally on the on, on, on his on his uh on his press both, conference. Who's both of them? To, to Adam Thielen. He threw both around Adam, Adam okay, Thielen. Okay. But that's the guy, you know, who subbed him. So I just wanted to make sure. No, he was right. You gotta call out your quarterback. If your quarterback is playing like shit, call him out and make him play better. And that's what he did. He did play better. But granted, they played the Giants. <laughs> right. Yeah, so Giant, Gi Giants. Giants second. Giants fans, back to reality, baby. <laughs> I will say that the future is bright. The future is bright. But I feel like if Saquon played that game, it would have been a different game. Okay. But obviously, that wasn't right. The that case. was the case, obviously. But I don't know. I, what do you think about Stephon Diggs, man? He gone. You want to be in Minnesota? Yeah, I want to be in Minnesota. Devin was saying he's really important too. Yeah, he's gone. <laughs> I mean, it made it. I mean, listen. You're out of there. <laughs> like, he, even for this game, he didn't get a lot of targets and a lot of yards. So. Bro, it was like, it was he even in the, in the game? <laughs> nah, he did, he did have some no, catches. I mean, he did play, but it was just like, he wasn't there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then that's why he was talking about like, Oh, you, you seen you congratulate your teammates and you didn't have that big of a game, but he was saying that he's always gonna support his teammates no matter what's going right. on. Right, which is a constant professional. That's what you're supposed to do. Uh, that's, that's cute, because I would be like, fuck y'all. <laughs> anyway, Cowboys and Packers, baby. Hey, hey man. you love to see it. Actually, you hate to see it if you're a Cowboys fan, but if you're not a Cowboys fan like myself, you love to see it. Watching Dak throw interceptions in the red zone, Oh man, you just oh oh I, I I live for things like that. I I do. I just want to point out, right? I just like I'll be honest. I went to go see the Joker last night, right? Okay, great movie. Uh, so I was watching the Packers game in, uh, versus the Cowboys in the third quarter, and I'm playing a guy that had Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott had one point, one point, and then I came back and he had 32 points. My God, I hate fantasy football. I'm never playing that shit again. Why do I put myself <laughs> through that torture and embarrassment? I feel like we shouldn't play fantasy football because I feel like it's messing with our mental health. <laughs> Imagine going against uh, Christian McCaffrey and Adam Thielen this week. Bro, I went against uh, Dak Prescott and uh, your boy, what's your name? Uh, Will Fuller, bro. Oh. <laughs> Will Fuller had 58 points? Yo, we'll, talk, we'll, talk, we'll talk about, yeah, we'll talk about that later. We'll get on your ass. <laughs> but. Four touchdowns now, for Aaron Jones, baby. <laughs> hey, like what? Like, what is this? <laughs> like what? Is, all right, now the Packers. I think they. I think they listened to you know someone. Yeah, they listened to the God OJ. <laughs> you gotta respect the running game. You gotta run the football. <laughs> As you should. You should always listen to the God OJ because he's never gonna stay you wrong, baby. That's how we gonna do it. Run the ball, you'll get touchdowns inside the red zone. Nah, do I have? I have a hot take. I think the Packers are the best best team in the NFC. I don't even feel like it's a hot take. I feel like no. I mean, I feel like you can. That's reason right, but no. But coming give into me this, better hot takes, baby. <laughs> nah, but nah, but listen. No, no one coming into the season. The Packers had quite big question marks coming into the season. You know, the defense was a little shaky. You know, they had a new head coach. I feel you like know, they weren't sure how Aaron Rodgers, the new head coach, were gonna you know, you know, pan out. But they're they're doing their thing. They're four and one. Here was the real question mark. The real question mark was. <laughs> their defense and who is going to be the number two receivers. Obviously, they still haven't figured out who is the number two receiver is. They don't know. Uh, Aaron Rodgers hates uh, Geronimo and Marcus Vazquez. Daily, I can still can't say your name. MSV. <laughs> yeah, he hates them. So, I mean, he still, I mean, but they still killed Dallas without Adam. So right. it's pretty impressive there. I think, I think Aaron Rodgers at this point is better than everybody. And he knows and he's smarter than everybody. He's so frustrated because right. The wide receivers are not learning the offense the way he would like them to learn the offense because they're not doing the thing. He's so frustrated because so they're going they're going into more balanced attack. I yeah, think yeah. that's alleviating the pressure off Aaron Rodgers. Yeah. Now speaking of Will Fuller, let's talk about this Texans and Falcons game. 
AKA the Will Fuller game. Because what? What was that? Like what? Like what? Like a hat? Okay. Like if if you own DeAndre Hopkins, like I do, you're watching the game. Like, what the fuck is going on? Like, wh- like who, who's catching? Who's catching all these passes? Well, I, I don't want to talk about D Hop anymore because I want to <laughs> just shout out my brother Sean Watson because cue that clip up, baby. I think I got my swagger back. Oh, oh, oh. Ooh, I think I got my swagger back. <laughs> That's a classic right there. That's one of the greatest football videos of all time. Anyway, but um, yeah, I feel like what Deshaun threw like five touchdowns five, yesterday. Five TDs. He was letting that he was letting that thing go. And Will Fuller was killing all fantasy owners. But I think my real problem last night was the Atlanta Falcons. I feel like Matt Ryan, you had some good years, brother, but you're not it. They need to blow it up and off a blank, you are high. That coaching staff cannot turn this team around. It's over. I think, I think it's they yeah, never it, recovered it, it, after Atlanta. When they lost the Super Bowl, they never recovered after the Patriots came back and beat them. They were terrible right after that, and they'll never be right. good again. And they, and they just gave Julio that big extension, so they're finan- they're financially strapped. No, nah, they just gotta blow it up. Like it's just not working. Like you tried over and over again. You tried different things. Like it's just not working. Just get over it. You never you're never gonna recover, okay. and you're a mess right now. Okay, I agree. Now, Sunday night football, we had a great matchup between the battle of two of the best young quarterbacks in the league, Patrick Mahomes and Jacoby Brissett. Now, the outcome didn't come as expected as as we would have thought because the Colts actually won the football game. Now, as I was watching the game, I'm impressed with Jacoby Brissett. His his drive in the fourth quarter, it show it, he showed a lot of poise. I'm not gonna lie, he did. Now I don't know what's the, I don't know if that's say about the Chiefs defense, but he 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 showed out. I don't think Brissett was doing anything, and he lost my producer his league <laughs> because he didn't really do shit. They were playing like it was 1985. They was running that bitch. <laughs> right now, but I mean, and look, Marlon Mack had 29 carries, bro. They were running that motherfucker like that was impressive, and he had over 100 yards. He had the, uh, he had 132 rushing yards. Yeah. 32, 32 rushing yards. yards. <laughs> he had 132 rushing yards and they really couldn't stop it. I mean, the Chiefs defense did play good, but I think what the coach is saying is your offense is going to have to beat me. And your offense could have beat me because Andy Reid, I don't know what he was doing that game, but if it's third and 29 and I throw it to my wide receiver and somehow my wide receiver doesn't die for the first down, I don't know how, and then you go and your you're running game's been shit all night and then you run with Damian Williams and then Justin Houston, a former Kansas City Chiefs, stops you in the backfield. That is fucking embarrassing. It's also ironic too. Things things coming full circle. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like and, that shit is embarrassing. And, and also too, the Chiefs were very sloppy on offense. They had those yes. two, they had two costly turnovers in the red zone. And, yes. and you can't do that, especially if you're trying to, you know, make that Super Bowl push. Mm-hmm. You can't you can't have those you know those mishaps. Yeah. So I mean they're fine. They're, yeah, they're, they're, <laughs> once, they, fine. once they get Tyreek Hill, it's lit. Because <laughs> yeah, they be throwing to I don't even know who they was throwing to last night. They threw to some random guy. They, they threw to a guy who they threw to, what was his name? Pringle. Pringle McCringleberry. Penn State University. Pringle. Pringle. Yeah, chips. Pringles. <laughs> throw it to chips. <laughs> throw it to a bag of chips. Literally a bag of chips. Yeah, I think I don't think Sammy Watkins had a point last night. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. This shit is ridiculous. Anyway, uh, let's talk about something that's more positive because I feel like last night was a terrible for my home owners and negative. And I want to talk about something positive. I want to lift the spirits of people out there. And we got my guy Zion lifting the spirits of people. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know the lyrics. <laughs> hey, Whitney Houston really gave us a banger. Nah, she gave us mad she gave, she gave said, us so many. like she gave us one. She gave us a nah, lot of the, bangers. I think that is like the banger. Okay. That's the one. But I feel like 
he's like, what, he, when was he born? Like 99? <laughs> like, yeah, right. He doesn't know that song. <laughs> His parents might have played in the car for him. But is that like their like hazing? Is, is that like their I guess he's rookie hazing. Yeah, okay, because they were like forcing him to do that. And he's looking at his phone and right. trying to look up the lyrics. lyrics yeah. <laughs> I was like, yo, that's fucking insane. Like, I like I don't know the lyrics off the top of my head. But, but you know the chorus. The lyrics? Yeah, that's, that's insane, bro. And he's looking up the lyrics to see in the car. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh man, you know what that means, right? We're getting old. Yeah, we're getting old. Oh lord. Hey, big bowler. <laughs> this is our big bowler segment. <laughs> and we got LaMelo, and we're gonna be covering LaMelo through his NBL experience. Um, he is playing in this Australia League. For the Ilya Warhawks. Yes, 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 y'all. And his preseason games were cool, but now it's the final opening day of his actual career and the regular season is underway. Okay. And shout out LaMelo, cause LaMelo had 12, 10 and five and he had a double double with no turnovers. Woo. He's the first to do that ever in the NBL. So shout out LaMelo. He did struggle shooting from the field though. So okay. it was cool. And this is a stat that will get your nipples hard. So talk to me, talk to me. Hey. His plus minus he matched uh, was Josh Boone. It was the worst. Oh. <laughs> they matched. It was bad. His okay, plus okay, minus. all right. Now well. for me, I say that to say this. I don't care about plus minus because that doesn't well, say anything to me. Well, the, that's that's due to the shooting. But okay. the fact that he had no turnovers. Wait, can, so so you can you point out the plus minus is overrated. It so, is, it is exactly. <laughs> but it does matter. It, it does matter. And of course it matters, but it doesn't matter to the level of like, yo, oh, he had, no. he had oh. 12, 10 and five. That's a good no, but the thing. Is, but here's the key. But the thing is no, no turnovers. turnovers. That's, that's the thing. The key. He had no turnovers. Bro, and no, I hate you the, analytics people. The you know, Achilles heel right and now. also too, but the no turnovers thing is a big deal because the Achilles heel on LaMelo was, oh, he's very, you know, lacks days to go with the basketball. You know, he, he turns it over a lot, but He's playing under control and under duress. I mean, in less, in less duress. So he's getting it now. And that's key for NBA scouts to see what he's gonna do. Cause he's gonna play point guard in the NBA like his brother. Listen, I know that you're playing these highlights in the background right now, behind us, you're seeing this, but I just wanna take time for you to just watch it without us talking. Search of back to back buckets of their own. Haven't been able to make it happen in the quarter so far. Lamello ball with the steal. Day basketball. We've got one player over six foot six. His ball does oh, something yeah. special for two. But one player over six foot six. Can you believe it? He wants it himself. Blows past Tarangi. Drives. Broad flashes to the basket. Ball with the body. What a defense. Lamello shakes one way, then the other, then the pass to Josh Boone, who wanted the foul. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to give you because that was just beautiful. He dropped that guy twice. Then also, Boone, you gotta finish on that, dog. You gotta finish on that. I look, that was beautiful that's why, by the mellow. Hey, that's why. That's why he's the number one draft pick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, speaking Potentially. of. Potentially. No, he is gonna be the number one. There's no potential. You are the number one draft pick. <laughs> hey, NBA preseason, dog. I mean, we were talking about regular season game. Now we're talking about preseason again, and we're talking about the Lakers versus Golden State. Now, listen, everybody was anticipating this because even though it's preseason, it's the NBA, and the NBA is probably the biggest thing in the world right now, or it's growing. And you have AD and LeBron, and we wanted to see what that looked like. And AD had 22 points, 10 rebounds, and two assists. So, he <laughs> hey, even though, even though I'm not going to go out of them, this is the best big man LeBron's ever played with. Without question. Why is that a win? Who are you arguing with? Chris Bosch? I say, I say, uh, yeah, I say Chris Bosch. All right, we're not arguing that. <laughs> I say but no, Bosch. and then LeBron had 15 points, which is cool. And then you got to see Rondo and AD action, who already has chemistry with each other because they play with each other in New Orleans. So that's really, really impressive there. And also, Steph Curry shot an air ball. It's over, baby! <laughs> <laughs> that's relaxed. I don't think it's over for the Golden State Warriors. They just had to get used to the, you know, playing with each other. No, I, I'll, I'll, I said they're not gonna make the playoffs, but here's my reasons for saying that. I'm not just saying that. I, I come, I come with facts, baby. <laughs> All right, here's the reason. They're in a new arena. You gotta get used to a new arena. You're not gonna have that same fan support that you did when you had in Oakland. It was loud in Oakland. Right, the, or, the Oracle was a different vibe. It, it, it was loud. Right. 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 Oracles right, are cool. You know. Key points. You don't have KD anymore. You have to adjust to that. I. Right, that's cool. Whatever. You play without KD. You won without KD. Right. Clay is hurt for half of the year. And I'd, say, I'd say the majority. Yeah. So you don't even know when he's coming back. His timetable really. And then you also have. You got to see if the D'Angelo thing is actually going to work. But here's the key. There's no Eagle Dollar anymore. 
That's been the backbone of this team, Eagle Dollar. I know Draymond's the heart and soul, he gives the energy, but Eagle Dollar was so important to that team. When they needed him to, even like the finals last year, he made a lot of key plays for them to extend it to maybe go. And you know what I'm saying? Like he gave yeah, them right. Like, I mean, it barring the injuries, you know, that happened throughout the finals to the to the Warriors. And he's a key vet and you need key vets and he's not there anymore. So, I mean, God bless, but you're I, not going to make the playoffs. I think they're going to make I think they're going to make the playoffs just just for the fact that they have the scoring to do so. That mm. you know D'Angelo Russell and Steph Curry, that can work just off the fact that you have two playmakers on the court that can alleviate pressure from one, from each other. All right, so, so like Steph doesn't play on the ball as much and you know, you can have D'Angelo run some point guard for you. Uh, but and you still have Draymond there. You have, you know, you have Alex Burks, who's a guy who, who can score off the bench. So you do have, you have do have Kyle. All right, but here's the thing. D'Angelo Russell has to pick up the slack with Klay Thompson. D'Angelo Russell is not a, as good as a defender as Klay Thompson. Okay. So I think that's where you got to look into account for too. Yeah, he might give you scoring, not as good as Klay, but he'll give you scoring, but he's not going to pick up as a defensive end for uh, Klay. And you know that's kind of Curry's Achilles heel is the defense. So you put Klay on whoever you need him to guard. Now you don't have that access. You don't have that player to do so. So that's going to hurt your team a lot. And I remember Draymond was just talking about a clip like before he was like, you know, like, you know, years before prior, uh, Kerr would have to coach two players, you know what I'm saying? But it would be the same team. Now Kerr has to coach like maybe five to eight guys compared. So it's a whole new team. It's a whole new learning right. process for them. And, and this is a lot of change. And I know I said the thing about the order, Oracle, but that, that means a lot. No, I mean, right. The, think chase, about the chase center, it, 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 is, it is a weird vibe just hey. because the whole, when, I, when I'm used to the Warriors, I'm, I'm used to like, Oakland, like that's you know what I'm saying. And make the, make the point about E40. Tell me when I'm not not E40. Excuse me. Uh, two oh, the two. Oh yeah, they played blow the whistle last <laughs> night. I mean, at, at the at the preseason game, and the fans weren't hyped to it, and it was weird. I'm like, okay, come on, now. Like, <laughs> hey, this, this ain't right. San Fran ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> For real, it really ain't. Yeah, but, so we can't we can't say that our producer from from you know from the Bay, he from he from San Fran, we can't. Slander San Fran like that. San Francisco. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Go Packers. <laughs> it's your boy, Jay Bobby. It's your boy, Rios. And Jay Bobby Rios ain't nothing to fuck with. Like, subscribe, all that overtime. Jay Bobby, Rios, fire content, fire hot take, and real slander hours. You truly, truly hate to see you it. hate to see but it. But you also truly love to see That's it. That's a fact. So for more previous episodes and for more overtime content, please like and subscribe.